Hey, what's up you guys? I just want to talk to you about something. My son scratched me right there and then that's a pimple. Oh, one armor. Basically, if you feel like you keep trying to tell your family about Jesus and they're just not getting it, like, you know, I see people who, you know, when they're in a bad mood, they run to things like violence or lust of the flesh, whether it's violence, addiction, sexual things. Um, and it just, it hurts. It hurts, you know, like, uh, I'm not sure if anyone can relate to me where you you know that when you're upset that you need to run to Jesus that you need to ask him into your heart um, for example okay like I've been hurt a lot in the last uh, year I had um, worked very hard to break chains when I was 19 um, then I fell back into sin uh, and that led me on a journey to really just understand why it's so important to follow Christ and, and not run to fleshly desires and so now you know I'm going through these emotions that I've never gone through before of um, you know I'll say things like God I just want to die but I can't I can't Lord, I can't do anything. I just want to die. But I can't. I can't. I can't. God, I give it to you. I can't do anything. I give it to you. I just want to die, but I can't. You know, and it's okay to tell God your real feelings. It's okay to, you know, he can handle everything. That we throw at him we can he can handle our screaming our yelling our shouting our punching walls <laughs> you know um <clears throat> i'm not a violent person but <laughs> recently i've really felt like hitting people and i can't god i feel like hitting people and i can't i can't i can't hit them you love them i can't oh, of course the wind Just sad because I want everyone I love to see Jesus to know him like I know him I'm not perfect and it it hurts me that people will look at my flaws over my heart for Jesus you know I've made mistakes I've struggled but I haven't given up on my God my father my friend, my only friend. I've been alone my whole life, like I said in previous videos, and it was God, it was God that stood by me. And the only thing is, is that some of us don't listen. We don't hear or see God standing beside us. I, like I said, you know, in my testimony that I'll eventually share, I, I'm lucky enough to receive the gift of faith, um, It's more complicated than this, than this, but basically it's a gift of knowing Jesus is real, that God is real, um, and nobody can take it away from you. Even if you don't go to church, never even gone to church, even if um, there's just something inside you that tells you you came from somewhere, that it wasn't an explosion. You know, morality doesn't come from evolution. Morality comes from God. You know it's hard but just keep living for Jesus keep doing what you have to do and those who don't want to listen you can't you can't force them some will see Christ through you and some will walk away and that's how Jesus feels about us is his children some will come and he rejoices and he plays with them and he dances with them and he loves them and then other children run away why run away from goodness what is so scary about goodness i understand the fear i've been through it but when you get there it's like you laugh at yourself 
<laughs> like what was I so scared of? Why was I so scared? Truth is, the only thing that we should fear is being on the wrong side. I hate to say this, but it's like Star Wars. You know, people chose Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader and some people switch sides that you never thought and there's all these mysteries and things revealed and it's exactly what life, real life is. You choose light or dark and you just kind of live. Good and bad happens. But in the end, those who chose Christ are the real victors. As soon as we accept Jesus in our heart, we won. But Zane wants to keep us sad, depressed, angry, hurt, so that we can't spread that love out to our friends and family or even heal ourselves. And then we're stuck in that. Um, but when we ask, God, show us, heal us, do your work in me so that I may do your will and honor and glorify you, he will. Satan has no power. body thoughts our soul or life no demons will have any toll hold in our mind body thoughts or soul we are free right now in the name of Jesus we accept your truth your holy truth that you are the way the truth and the life not one of the ways one of the truths one of the lives no the way the truth the life proclaim victory over me over my family, over my children, over the listener, whoever's watching this, Father God, touch their hearts that they may see the truth. We're not perfect. You know, Jesus got angry in the temple when he seen that they had desecrated his father's temple, that they made it into a marketplace instead of a worship place. What is your home? Is it a marketplace? Or is it a worship place? A movie, music, it's not just a movie or music. You know, there's all this talk, black, white, gray. Well, guess what? The gray leaves open to interpretation, what you use it for. So you're always choosing light or dark. There is no in-between. If it's a song or a movie that might not be bad, your intent, are, are you sitting with Jesus watching that movie, listening to that song, then that's choosing light. But if you're having visions of lustful desires with this movie that's not necessarily bad, then it's dark. We are always making a choice. I encourage you to choose light. This, this life is never, ever gonna be easy. When we have Christ, we have hope. When we have faith, we have strength. When we are alone, we have a friend. Run to Jesus. My brothers, my sisters, my friends, my foes, my enemies. I don't wish anyone to go to hell. That's a very serious thing. And I can't even, like my heart hurts when I think about that there's people there screaming you know I think of that that man who you know he passed by a homeless guy outside his gate every day and the homeless guy would always say you have changed and of course you know he has changed but he didn't want to give it to that guy he wanted to save every penny literally every penny and um, finally this guy the rich guy dies and uh, he ends up going to hell and uh, he realizes that it's true that what God had spoke is true and he regrets and he says just one drop of water on my tongue just a drop one drop and I'll be I don't even know what he says. He says, um, 
basically he just wants one drop of water and to tell his brothers that Jesus is real, that hell is real, and that he doesn't want them to go there. Um, the poor guy, he dies and he goes to heaven. And this is not about rich or poor. It's about your heart. Are you following Jesus or not, rich or poor? If you're rich, do you help people? Or are you keeping it all for yourself? Do you have a house full of knickknacks that you can't even use? You could sell those and then help single moms or single dads or um, or just homeless people or starving children, you know? Like, why do we have to have all this useless junk in our houses? No offense, but that's kind of a white stereotype. I'm not gonna lie. You You see in other cultures how they live, how they you know how like I think of just tribal people you know whether you're African or native or even just a tribe in um, Asia or wherever you know like I think of those people who work hard every day even the Jews who who worked hard every day to get their food to get their water you know um, it was a hard life but you had no time to mess around and that's what I want my life to be no messing around. I ain't around, you know? Like, there's that joke, don't around, you know? Like, for real though, don't. There's no time for it. We are, we are um, vapors in the wind, God says. Like, our lives, they're, they're gone in a second, here and gone in a blink of an eye, you know, to God. We don't have time to mess around. Feel the joy of the Lord. He will give you joy and peace and rest. You can joke. God had a sense of humor. But not perverted. Not rude. No. You know if it's putting somebody else down. It doesn't come from God. I can get sarcastic. I can make jokes. I have bitterness and resentment. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm trying to work that out with God, you know? Like, I'm just so disappointed with myself, how I've acted sometimes, or how other people have acted sometimes. And I just got to give it all to God. I encourage you to do the same. You know, Jesus loves you. And, um... I just pray that whoever's watching that you really just understand what I'm saying and maybe you can leave a comment and uh, share something you know I'd love that honestly sh come on people make a comment let me know and also like and subscribe because I'm gonna keep doing videos you know I'm not doing it for myself but the glory of God and I just pray that it encourages you and so like and subscribe and I hope you have a blessed day because God is always with you. Light, dark, high, low, you know, like he's always with you.